Hi, and welcome everybody to Wager Talk TV. It's Tuesday, May 28th. I'm Ross Benjamin. And uh, boy, oh boy, folks, congratulations to each and every one of you who have been following me on these free pick videos. And we've just been absolutely crushing it, especially on the NBA free pick videos. As we won again yesterday, as uh, we took the Boston Celtics and the Indiana Pacers first half total to go over 114. And yes, folks, we hit a two-pointer at the buzzer in the first half to make the game sit at 115 and go over the total. But guess what? You know, I know a couple of you chimed in, but Ross, you just barely won that game. At the end of the day, a winner's a winner, folks. You know, and if we won by 20, let me ask you a question. The last time you won the game by 20, did your bookmaker, whether he be a local or a legal bookmaker, pay you extra money because it was an impressive win and you won by a decisive margin? No, you get paid the same, whether you win by one or 20. So take the win, folks, and let's move on. And, uh, again, I appreciate all your comments along the way, folks. Uh, you've been more than gracious. And uh, I would appreciate uh, – I'm getting a lot of support in terms of likes, and it's really important. A lot of you have chimed in and say, why do – or a couple of you have, I should say. Why is Ross always seem like he's on the verge of – he needs a lot of likes or we're going to take him off the channel? Well, we're beyond that stage. And right now I could say with – some degree of certainty that uh, I'm going to be with you for quite a while here in the foreseeable future. Anyway, uh, I, right here on Wager Talk TV. Now, it's just a matter the likes are just a small token of your appreciation, folks. And it also goes a long way with uh, Wager Talk determining who should be uh, making the most appearances on Wager Talk TV as well. So if you want to see more of me and you want to keep these videos free, that's the big thing, not only for myself, but other the uh, some other of the great world class handicappers on the site, uh, hitting the like button goes a long way, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it goes a long way uh, in keeping this channel uh, going and, and going strong, and keeping videos free as well. And it's free to subscribe; it's a hundred percent free. There's no strings attached. Just click on that subscribe button, and while you're at it, go into your YouTube settings and click on uh, the. Alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be alerted and notified immediately upon any of our great free pick videos, podcasts, or, or handicapping technique videos going up on this channel. All right, so let's get to the matter at hand. We're going to be talking the NBA again today. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, and uh, we'll be looking at game four of the Western Conference Finals between the Dallas Mavericks, who will be hosting the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, Dale is currently with a commanding 3-0 series lead, um, and they have an opportunity to close out this series and get to their first NBA Finals since uh, 2010. This presents, to me, a similar type of scenario that I had in yesterday's free pick where we took the over in the Indiana-Boston first half. Uh, we went over 114. A little bit different in the fact that I like the under for in this first half total. Now, let's stop and think about this. As I told you yesterday, we had a first half total yesterday of 114 and a uh, game total of 222 and a half, which, you know, ordinarily uh, through the course of the NBA season, we've noticed uh, on the majority of occasions when you see a number like 114 in the first half, it's pretty uh, indicative, we'll see somewhere between 227 and 229 as a game total. But that wasn't the case. It was 222 and a half, which led me to believe. And again, I've been telling you this, and I said it yesterday, I'll say it again. You need to think like a bookmaker. You need to think like an odds maker, more specifically. Um, and in this total, we have a first half total of 103 and a half and a game total of 211, which is well below 50% of what the game total is. And to me, again, the odds makers are telling me that they believe that this is going to be a low scoring first half. And again, like yesterday, doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense because when you look at the past results and the first half totals and first half scores, uh, it doesn't add up. But usually when that happens, uh, I think you guys have been with me long enough now that, to know that I am more um, prone to erring on the side of the contrarian mindset than the conventional wisdom. 
So I look at, again, we're going to say 103 and a half, first half total here, Minnesota and Dallas. Um, the first half total in the Boston, uh, Indiana game, like I said yesterday, was 114. We went over the total. And then I also suggested if we won the over the total of 114, I suggested based on the fact that the total was only 222 and a half, uh, we probably can go under and get a much better uh, total uh, by live betting before the second half begins. And that was the case. And we really didn't need the larger total because the game itself stayed under the total uh, with only 92 points scored in the second half. But the bottom line is we created value by doing that. I also told you, and I'll say this again today, if we don't win our first half total, all bets are off going into the second half. Sometimes you just have to grin and bear it if it's a losing pick and just move on and turn the page and not chase money or not make uh, picks that are outside of the strategy that you originally designed on this game in terms of making your bet. Um, additionally, uh, the first three games of the series all went over the game total and they all went over the first half total. As a matter of fact, the first three first half totals in this series um, average a combined 114.7 points per game. And the totals were 104 and a half on two occasions and 105 on another. So again, higher than what we're seeing today. Yet uh, there was 108 points or more scored in the first half in each of the first three games of the series and an average of 114.7. Yes. And yet, excuse me, this first half total has come down. It actually opened um, at 102 and a half. It's now 103 and a half. And uh, again, folks, you have to ask yourself, uh, why did it open so low? But despite the fact the first three first half totals easily went over the total and at higher numbers. You have to think like an odds maker. They're telling us something here. Yet, um, uh, some people will just stick with the obvious and say, I don't know what I'm talking about. And then you get the other smart asses that will, um, no matter how hot you are, will go the opposite way just because they like to garner some attention to themselves. And it's okay if you go the opposite way in the comment section, folks. It's okay. But keep in mind how hot I am, number two. And if you do so, have an intelligent um, reason why you're doing it and also uh, be respectful. That's all I can ask. You know, I've seen some comments on other uh, of my fellow sports betting experts page over the last two days, YouTube videos over the last two days, which are not nice, folks. OK, let's stay away from that. Uh, you don't need to, to, to uh, uh, attack somebody's physical appearance. You don't need to attack somebody uh, on a personal level just because they gave you a couple losing picks in a row. It's not nice. And in my day, and in my mind, it's acting like a punk, which a lot of people are Texan tough guys these days. I understand you're frustrated when you lose a pick, but be nice. You know what I mean? Nobody's forcing you to watch that individual's video, nor is anybody uh, forcing you to uh, take what that person tells you and, and make the pick or make the bet, I should say. So just keep that in mind going forward. Anyway, we're going to go. Uh, back to the matter at hand, we're going to go Minnesota-Dallas under the total of 103.5. Now, the total is 211 on the game, okay? Similar situation to yesterday where we went over in the first half and I recommended an under at halftime uh, in the live betting for the game. I'm going to do the exact opposite today, but in a di different manner in the fact that we went over first half, under uh, game, at halftime today, we're going to go under first half at a hundred percent of your bet. And then if you're betting a hundred dollars on that game, 25 to 50% of that bet you'll make on going over the total in the second half, because this tells me they're looking at a lower first half uh, scoring or lower first half scoring and uh, looking at the game to be a little higher score in the second half. And why I say that folks is if we go under one Oh three, OK, and we win our first half bet, the, there's a good chance that we're going to get a better number to go over the total at halftime uh, in live betting. 
And, you know, again, if we get 99 points, there's a chance we may get a 208 and a half or a 209 at halftime and go over at that particular moment. And again, uh, repeating, it's very important if we lose our first half bet here. I know we've been hot, but again, I got to keep it real with you guys, okay? And it's part of betting strategy and money management. If we lose our first half total here and the game goes over, all bets are off for any kind of live betting in the second half. Don't chase a losing bet, okay? Because the strategy goes out the window. Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet, accept the loss, and make uh, another strategic pick later in the day or tomorrow. And uh, keep yourself smart and use smart money management. It's why a lot of bettors uh, fail in sports betting, I should say. All right, so there you have it. NBA uh, premium picks. Look at I always I'm always transparent with you guys. Uh, number one in 2022, number one in 2023, currently number one in 2024 when it comes to my NBA postseason bets with my premium selections over at sportsmembo.com. And you can go to my direct page, SM dot uh, buzz slash RB. But I have lost the last two days in the NBA, which means I have a Game for premium selection in tonight, uh, in tonight's Minnesota Dallas matchup. And uh, I'm coming back with a vengeance tonight, folks. So keep an eye on that. That pick, um, is up for sale for $19. And again, there's a lot of great specials and special offers over at Sports Memo on my page. Uh, all you need to do is go again to sm.buzz/slash rb. Don't forget to give me a like, folks. It would go a long way in uh, making me happy and uh, showing your appreciation for the work that I do and keeping the folks over at Wager Talk TV happy. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll be back tomorrow with another free pick video right here on Wager Talk TV.